Welcome to our channel. Direction for Our Times, Volume 5, Saint Padre Pio, June 2, 2004. Beginning in 2003, and lay apostle received many messages from Jesus, the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit, blessed Mary and many saints. These messages have been tabulated in a 10-volume set, simply called the volumes. I have enjoyed everything in the volumes and suggest anybody watching to read them on the Direction for Our Times website as a PDF or purchase the booklets. Padre Pio is one of my favorite saints and this one of my favorite passages. Let us first pray, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us say the Allegiance Prayer. Dear God in Heaven, I pledge my allegiance to you. I give you my life, my work and my heart. In turn, give me the grace of obeying your every direction to the fullest possible extent. Now, let us say the morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you the prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, and for the intentions of the Holy Father. Here is a message from Saint Padre Pio on June 2, 2004. Greetings from Heaven, dear souls. I am Saint Padre Pio of Pretrialsana. I come to you in the greatest of peace, with love and encouragement. I have completed my earthly journey, but I do not forget my friends still struggling with the darkness of sin that flows freely through the world at this time. On the contrary, I think of you always and intercede for souls without pause. Continue to use me, dear brothers and sisters. You will find me alert always for your petitions and difficulties. During my time on earth, I had the greatest of love for the will of Jesus Christ in my life. I tried to embrace His will in everything, even the smallest of things. There were times when Jesus would tell me that I was being granted a respite, and truly, I tell you, I would feel disappointment. I took the greatest of comfort to think I was suffering, both to console Jesus, and to save the souls of my fellow man who would otherwise be lost. I focused so completely on accomplishing these things that I experienced joy and suffering. You may ask who is this man? Him, Padre Pio? I cannot be like him. Who is this man? God is not asking me to be like him. God is asking me to be like me. What is that? Then you must pray with your whole heart that you will say yes to this God who loves you most tenderly and needs you most urgently. God accepts. Why does he need you so urgently? He does this because he is all wise and he wants to allow you to help in the salvation of many souls. He is giving you the means to obtain your heavenly glory, little soul, and in the process, you will perform reparation on the earth, where great sins are being committed. This is of inestimable value to him. Are you saying to yourself, I don't understand what this man is talking about? Well, truly I tell you, you have no need of a great understanding of the mind of God to serve him, but while you are meditating and figuring it out, do not hesitate to serve. Serve now. Serve completely. I am the saint of service because I tried to say I don't understand what this man is talking about? To everything and then looked around further to add more to my suffering and my sacrifices. I wanted to give more than he asked for because I loved him so much and because I felt so painfully the lack of love he was experiencing on earth. I tried to compensate. Again, I say, you are not called to be me. You are called to be you. I will help you be the best you that is possible. To achieve this, you will need great graces. I tell you today that these graces are there for the asking. They are piled high in a pile here in heaven, just waiting for you to request them. Begin now, my friend, by requesting that I. Padre Pio, select a grace for you from your heavenly stack. I know you well, as I have watched you, along with the rest of the heavenly court, and I will choose something that I know Jesus wants you to have. It will flow into your soul and the process of becoming better will have begun. Jesus will be pleased with me, and I will be pleased with you. Jesus is the one who wills these graces, do not forget. I am like the box boy who does his bidding by picking up the box of graces and delivering it you. I love my job and I love you. I must tell you that the love of Jesus Christ is so vast that I cannot describe it to you. I am still learning about it myself. You will come to us someday and you will say, Thank you God, that I served the little bit that I served. That is what I said. Ask me to obtain graces and I will immediately sift through your stack and find the grace you need most. Please, may I send this grace to this soul? 
He will say yes to me because he loves me and because I worked for him while I was on the earth. Someday, with the help of God, you will also intervene from heaven for souls on earth. Come to me and ask for my help as this pleases God. I send you my very best wishes and every heavenly blessing that is within my power to obtain. Do not forget Mary, our Heavenly Mother. She is your greatest advocate during this time and loves you completely. She is the flower of heaven and joy and happiness flow before her as she walks. That is all. I am available to you and wish to help, so do not waste my offer. Thank you for watching. Please return for more content like this.